So when I left the church, a dear lady was leaving at the same time. And of course, remember, my car wouldn't start, so I was walking. So she offered me a ride, and I took it. And I could hardly wait to get out of the parking lot to ask her, what kind of a church is this? It just says, the church. And she said, and this is what she said, it's almost a direct quote, we're just a lot of people who have come out of a lot of different churches, and we just love the Lord and want to know the truth. That was my heart's cry the night before. It just hit me that this was just what I had prayed for. I knew I would go back. This man who was, who was the minister taught Sunday school, and I'd never heard anything like it before. And now remember, I've been to a lot of churches. <laughs> um, I did go back, and before long, I was going four times a week. Services were long, but they seemed but a moment to me. When he would close the book, I knew he was done. And I would, sometimes my heart would just sink. I think he's done. How can the time be gone so fast? But it was. My life has been filled with sorrow and trouble. My husband did not know the Lord, nor did he want to know him. But he never, he never tried to stop me from seeking him, and he never tried to stop me from going to fellowship. It wasn't until the last few years of his life that he came to know the Lord. We were married 52 years, and on December 4th, God took him home because of a marriage that was 50 years old or older. Satan could cause a lot of trouble. I believed one thing and he didn't believe at all and it caused much heartache and much sorrow and much trouble in our home. But God was faithful who had promised he never left me. His grace was sufficient for every trial, joy for every sorrow. He has truly given me beauty for ashes and the oil of joy for mourning and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water. My roots go deep and God has made me able to stand in the evil day. I praise him and thank him for all of his mercy and grace and I'd like to end my testimony with two poems if I could, please. I walked a mile with laughter. She chattered all the way. But I was none the wiser for all she had to say. I walked a mile with sorrow. Never a word said she, but all of the things I learned from her when sorrow walked with me. And I have one more. I, had a nep I have a nephew, and uh, I hadn't seen him in years, probably a good 15, maybe 20. I don't know. He was young when last time I saw him. His folks moved away. But I had heard that he had been converted seven years some years back and one day I went to the mailbox and this card was in the mailbox I looked at the return before I opened the card and it said Stephen Popperwell and I thought why well, I don't even know Stephen Popperwell he, all he knows about me is whatever his mother's told him now think of the wind as Satan a mighty wind blew night and day it stole the oak tree's leaves away then snapped its boughs and pulled its bark until the oak was tired and stark. But still the oak tree held its ground while other trees fell all around. The weary wind gave up and spoke, how can you still be standing, oak? The oak tree say, said, I know that you can break each branch of mine in two, carry every leaf away and shake my limbs and make me sway. But I have roots stretched in the earth, growing stronger since my birth. You'll never touch them, for you see, they are the deepest part of me. Until today, I wasn't sure of just how much I could endure. But now I found, with thanks to you, I'm stronger than I ever knew. So see, Satan, he's just a tool in God's hand. He just, he puts on the, he puts on the water, but God throws on the oil of grace.